welcome back to Tea Time. It's Friday here in the ATL, and you're joining me tonight for Taco Fiesta. Tonight's ingredients are ground turkey, grilled chicken breast, shrimp, tortillas, hard shell tacos, of course we have our chips, and I can't do without my avocados to make guacamole. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start with our chicken strips. So we're going to place these in a pan. I'm going to go ahead and get that hot. And I've already cut up some vegetables with it, and they're going to put this on their tortilla. So once you've got your pan hot, you want to go ahead and put in your grilled chicken. And I bought the seasoned grilled chicken already cut into slices. It just makes it faster and easier on a Friday night. Someone's at the door. Oh, 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 oh my god, I had no idea you were coming. We're having visitors today. Well, come on, join me. You caught me right in the middle of cooking. What you cooking? I got grilled chicken on. Tonight's taco night. Taco night? Yes, and you're just in time to cook. Cook? cook. Child, burn something up in here. <laughs> what you need me to help you with? I got some ground turkey that needs okay. to be cooked. We're making tacos. I'm going to go ahead and start on the guacamole. Okay. If you could finish up the ground chicken, go ahead and add the vegetables. I'd appreciate it. I'm preparing Tawana's favorite guacamole. And what we're going to do is go ahead and spoon out this avocado. Cut it in half and just spoon it right on out. That popped right on out. And we'll take the second half and go ahead and spoon that out. I love guacamole. Okay, guys, so I'm starting my guacamole. I already have it here in the avocado here in the bowl. Then I'm going to add some red onion. And then I add in some garlic. You also want to add salt and pepper to taste. One of my things I have to use is Old Bay seasoning. I'm going to stir some of that in. Okay, guys, let's go over and check on Drew and see how he's doing with the chicken. Okay, Drew, um, if you go ahead and add in the vegetables. Okay. Looks good. Girl, I'm trying, honey. I told you I would burn. <laughs> You're doing great. And we're going to let that just stir for a little bit. Simmer. Hey, guys. Up here mashing up my guacamole. My tool of choice is the masher, my mashed potato masher. And it helps me get the avocado all mashed up so we have a nice and creamy guacamole. Uh-oh, got a piece there. And you know what? One of the other things I add into my guacamole is I add a splash of lime juice as well as some cilantro. Okay, guys, now I'm going to go ahead and add in some cilantro. I put in a splash of lime juice. And then I add in my cilantro. And then I'm going to taste it to make sure the seasoning is the way I want it. You know what? Let's check on Drew. Drew, how's that chicken coming along? It's all done. Oh, wow. It looks wonderful. And here goes our guacamole topping. All right. Now it's time to add our ground turkey. Make sure you remember to drain your ground turkey or ground beef before adding your seasonings. You want to add three fourths cups of water and your taco seasoning. Tawana chose Taco Bell seasoning. Look like it's all done here. Hey, Drew. Yeah. For all your hard work, would you like a drink? Yes, honey. Pull me up. Please pull me up. Okay guys, the shrimp is one of my last toppings and I'm doing this for my husband. And he likes his shrimp spicy, so we're going to be adding some sriracha, some Old Bay, and some chili powder. Oh wow, this shrimp looks good and spicy. One of the last things I like to do is toast my tortilla. And you're going to place it in the pan. I put a little bit of oil in the pan. And guys, whenever you see a bubble, once it starts to bubble, just take your spoon or fork and kind of just press down in there. And this just adds a little more flavor. 
This is actually delicious. Yeah. It really is. We did it. We did, didn't we? <laughs> so where is T, Miss T? I haven't seen you in so long, honey. I done came over here to cook <laughs> at your house. What's going on? I'm so glad you stopped by, Drew, because we definitely need to talk about this cruise. So who is going on this cruise, honey? Well, actually, a couple of our girlfriends from Augusta should probably be coming along with us. Not the AUG, honey. I'm telling you. Like who? Well, it's some girls I went to high school with. Okay. Probably don't know them. And my cousin's coming. Okay. Haven't met her. Right, right. Should be fun. Okay. Y'all just recently went on a road trip together. Oh, my God. That was the coolest thing ever. How was it? Drew, I went to New Orleans. All right, then. Uh, what you do? <laughs> Well, we walked the streets of New Orleans. I was down Bourbon Street. We had a really good time. Okay, okay. I crossed the Mississippi River. Not the Mississippi. Went down to um, Florida and hang, hung out in Miami. It was really nice. The next road trip, we should plan one. To New York. Sounds great. <laughs> How's everything been going on your end of town? Everything's been going great. You know I've been doing a little bit of makeup. Okay. Um... Styling people from here and there. You know, I'm trying to keep my schedule as busy as possible. You know, I've been on Holly Unique Radio, doing a few interviews with people, talking and gag, you know, the same stuff. Same Just trying to make it to the top, as always. That's right. I know that's but right. enough about me, honey. What is going on with you? I have not seen you in forever. Well, you know, the girls keep me busy. Yes, as always. <laughs> Kudos to you, honey. You is the number one mom. <laughs> they definitely keep me busy, so... I mean, besides that and trying to get this cooking channel off the ground, things have just been pretty good. So what's going on with you, too? Well, you know, I was dealing with some things that I had to handle and pretty much get squared away. But once I handled them, got them squared away. So going to details, like, what was going on? I know you called me so upset. Like, huh, this always something here in ATL. What's going on? What, what, what is going on? Oh, true. I mean, I don't know where to start. I mean, it's just one of those things where, you know how it is here in the ATL. You get something started, somebody else wants to get something started, or they want to be a part of it, and they come at you the wrong way. They right. don't approach you the right way. You know, everybody's trying to do their thing and make it, and I get that. I mean, I'm all for the next person, you know, making it and, and doing their thing, but you can't attack what I'm doing or try to take down what I'm doing to make you look good. So, I felt like I had to just put her in her place. Honey, you better than me because I would have been out of damn doubt. Okay. Well, Drew, I know you would have. That's why, <laughs> that's why I didn't call you first. Child, you know these people is one way one day, another the next. You know, all you have to do is just remain focused. Continue doing what you're doing with your channel. And... The rest don't even matter. You know, you're going to always have a head in your corner. Keep smiling. True. Because nobody wants to see no one happy. And this industry is tough. It's very tough. Most and definitely. there's always going to be someone in the corner to stab you in your back. Or to discourage you to continue to do what you want to do. So, I just say keep, keep doing what you're doing, honey. Keep pushing through. <laughs> Push through, Lottie. <laughs> Thank you, Drew. I can always count on you to say something positive and to get me back in the place where I need to be. And so that's why when I have a problem, I call Drew. Because I know you're going to say something positive. So As always. I know. Well, guys, I'd like to thank you for stopping by today and joining me in the kitchen for our taco fiesta. And also I'd like to thank Drew for stopping by, helping me out as well. No problem. And Drew, if someone wants to get in touch with you, how can they find you? You can find me actually on Instagram at I am Drew Carter. And I also do makeup, event planning as well, and wardrobe styling. Send me your information to book me at I am Drew Carter at gmail.com. Well, guys, there you have it. And thank you so much again for joining us. It's been real. Bye now. <laughs>